The default Nginx Docker image provides environment variable support out of the box. However, it's not perfect. And this is because both Nginx variables and environment variables look very similar. So consider this configuration file right here. It consists of environment variables, like these ones right here, which are used to set the location of the Nginx server. And then we have Nginx variables like $URI, $host, $HTTP upgrade. And you can see a similarity between the two, namely the dollar sign. And you can also do environment variables without these brackets here. So it would look even more similar if we did it like this. And so to use environment variables in the Nginx Docker image, all we need to do is copy a configuration file like this into the location dash etc dash nginx dash templates in the container. I actually have a video that goes in depth on this that I'll link in the description if you're curious. But essentially you copy a configuration file into this location with environment variables that you want to be replaced. Under the hood, the nginx docker image will then use env subst like we have right here to replace the environment variables in the file. However, what we'll also do is replace all instances of nginx variables. So if I copied this into this location and I provided my environment variables, it would just replace these two. And because we haven't specified anything for $host or $HTTP upgrade, it would just set these to empty strings. Because basically for env subst, if there's no environment variable available for it, then it'll just set it to blank. And this can cause a lot of issues in the nginx configuration and even break certain configurations. So for example, if this was replaced with none, it would say something like invalid amount of headers or arguments provided to directive proxy set header. So if you're seeing that and using environment variables, this is most likely the cause. And so to handle this, what you should do is just create your own entry point script for the Docker image. So that's what I've done right here. And I have this entry point script, which basically gives us control over the environment variables that we want to substitute. So instead of saying we want to substitute everything in that file, we just want to substitute the ones that we provide here. So say in this file here, I just want to replace instances of nginx container name, port, node container name, and node port. So it'll leave alone all this stuff in here. And note that it says nginx host in here and nginx container name. So I need to change those to fix it, or change these to match. But essentially, if we use our own custom entry point script like this, we won't have issues with nginx variables being replaced. So specifically the full command, what it would do is use environment substitution on these variables on this file, which is this one over here. And then it would output them to the conf.d directory. And this conf.d directory is then imported into Nginx's main configuration file. Once again, I have a video that goes over all this stuff um, that I'll link in the description. And then finally, we just have a, we have another command here that runs Nginx in the foreground. So this dash g daemon off command basically tells Nginx to stay in the foreground. And this makes it so the container will not exit when the script exits. So it's important because we want to keep our container up and running. And if we run Nginx in the background, then the container won't have anything running and it'll just shut down. If you like content like this, check out my courses linked in the description where you'll build some cool stuff um, and learn things like this. Also check out my software. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.